Hey guys, how is it going? Sam here. Welcome to another video. This video it's a lab session on Route 53. In our previous video, we have seen core concepts behind the Route 53. Heads up to you guys. Uh, this might incur you know charges. Uh, you know we are going to do you know domain registration and things like that. So bear that in mind. Uh, you will be you know charged if you are you know following the same approach. But anyway, let, let's you know get started with this. Uh, log into your AWS console and Route 53 is placed under Networking and Content Delivery section. Let's open it up. And if it if it is you know the first time you guys are you know going to uh, open Route 53 section, you might uh, see this splash screen. Click on you know Get Started now. And what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to register our own domain name. So I've, I've told uh, this before. Amazon is a domain registrar now so we can you know easily register uh, our own you know domain names if it is available so for that you can click on registered uh, domain names and click on register domain I'm gonna go ahead with uh, Sam the cloud guy and uh, let's take a look at the available domain uh, names so dot com it will cost me around twelve dollars yeah uh, there is this domain dot click available for seven dollars so let's select that and let's ensure that uh, this domain name is not taken by any other guys sam the cloud guy dot click so price for one year it's seven dollars you will have to uh, bear that in mind i'm gonna add it to the cart and we'll be using sam the cloud guy dot click and you can see the uh, cart it says uh, seven dollar it's one time fee so let's click on continue and you will be asked to you know fill in uh, these uh, register and uh, contact details give me a second I'll, I'll fill this so I'm done with filling up all the details uh, you will have to basically fill your own you know address information contact number and uh, things like that once you are done you can click on continue and then you can agree to the you know uh, conditions you can complete the purchase and you can see that uh, uh, domain is uh, successfully you know uh, domain registration request is successfully sub uh, submitted and uh, this is the one which we have opted for sam the cloud guy dot click and what is the next thing uh, they will you know send a verification email and as you can see it might even take up to three days to complete so let's go back to the domain uh, dashboard and uh, here you can see the status domain registration is in progress so let's wait until uh, this is you know uh, available to us the status now so for that uh, you can click on pending request and uh, it says domain registration is in progress to finish registering your domain you must verify your payment so we will have to you know complete the payment what I will have to do is click on my name and uh, we can you know go to my billing dashboard and you can see the cost is you know um, coming because of the registrar I mean seven dollars for that so let's uh, make the payment now go to payment methods and uh, you can see that I've already added a card here you can click on make payment the amount due is eight dollars uh, approximately so I'm gonna complete the payment now so I'll be entering uh, the card related details here and uh, once done I'm gonna click on uh, make payment so you can see that the payment is uh, under process let's wait for you know couple of minutes and uh, maybe we can go back to the route 53 page and uh, let's uh, click on you know pending request and see the status I'm gonna pause this video and uh, I'll, I'll join back uh, when this is ready so I have verified the email address and um, you know it took me somewhere around you know 10 to 15 minutes and I've got the mail stating that the domain is available so let's quickly go back and uh, take a look at this yeah now you can see that uh, uh, this is enabled uh, there is no pending request anymore and if you go back to you know route 53's dashboard you will be seeing the uh, status as domain registration successful that's how it is done guys I mean uh, registering a domain uh, using AWS so let's take a look at the hosted zones then uh, select uh, the domain which you have registered and let's click on go to record sets 
So these are the you know two records that got created along with uh, the domain registration. We have an NS record and we have start of uh, authority record. Before we go any further, uh, uh, this is the diagram which I wanted to tell you and this is the thing or uh, this is the blueprint which we are going to execute or implement in our AWS Route 53 lab. Uh, so whenever uh, there is uh, a user who is trying to access our sam the cloud guy dot click website um, route 53 will you know come into action and it will uh, redirect the traffic to our elb so we are going to create an elb and uh, behind that we are going to host two instances ec2 instances which will be holding or hosting our web page uh, i've got uh, instance one here and i've got instance two here so based on the elb uh, it's going to serve the content to either instance one or instance two so remember this and we are going to create a ec2 instance first and we'll be you know uh, creating a website maybe we can you know do it uh, with the help of a boot script and then uh, we can you know go ahead and create an elb so first thing first uh, let's go back to ec2 console and uh, fire up two instances Let's click on launch instance and I'm going to stick with a free tier Amazon AMI will do and I'm okay with general purpose configuration details I'm not going to change anything uh, leave it all um, you know default it's, it's going to fall under our default VPC I'm okay with that and uh, here in advanced section let's put uh, a boot script which will take care of you know creation of uh, uh, a website and uh, you know installation of HTTP server and uh, things like that so this is the boot script with which I'm uh, running this uh, EC2 instance on um, I'll, I'll you know uh, update all the OS level um, packages and uh, I'm gonna install HTTP 2.4 version and uh, I'm gonna you know uh, start it and whenever there is an EC2 you know reboot uh, I want it to be up and running and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a index.html file which says uh, welcome to Sam cloud uh, Sam the cloud guys portal uh, this is from instance one and uh, that's it guys uh, let, let's you know add storage and I'm gonna leave it blank uh, let's add a tag type is instance one then let's uh, add it to an existing uh, maybe we can create a you know new security group let's say route 53 lab and let's enable uh, SSH so that's it guys I've added SSH HTTP and HTTPS traffic to this and uh, let me launch it review it and you know hit on launch let's create a key pair quickly let's say route 53 lab and I'll download it I'll click on launch instance so that that's with instance one and let's quickly open uh, you know or let's uh, quickly launch one more instance uh, instance two if you remember this we need two EC2 instances and uh, the same drill guys uh, you'll have to you know select uh, Amazon AMI don't forget to you know select the free tier and uh, all stay same except uh, for the you know boot script instead of you know um, instance one I'm gonna say instance two just to identify uh, you know the instances I'm gonna click on next storage is fine uh, let's add a tag for identification purpose let's call it as uh, instance 2 let's configure the security properties or security group I'm gonna add it to the default one not default one but uh, the one which we have created a couple of seconds back route 53 lab which has HTTP HTTPS uh, traffic enabled I'm gonna click on launch and I'm gonna stick with the same uh, key pair I've acknowledged it and I'm gonna click on launch 
కావచ్చు ఇట్ మై టేక్ ఇన్ ఒక కపుల్ ఆఫ్ మినిట్స్ అండ్ వీ విల్ హ్యావ్ టు ఎన్షూర్ దట్ ద బూట్ స్క్రిప్ట్ ఈజ్ రన్నింగ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ ఇన్స్టాల్ ఎస్ టీ టీ బిది సర్వర్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ క్రియేటెడ్ ద వెబ్సైట్ ద వెబ్ పేజ్ ద ఇండెక్స్ డాట్ ఎస్ టీ ఎల్ పేజ్ లెట్స్ గివ్ ఇట్ ఇన్నో కపుల్ ఆఫ్ సెకండ్స్ అండ్ మేక్ షూర్ దట్ యూనో ద వెబ్సైట్ ఈస్ క్రియేటెడ్ ఆర్ ద వెబ్ పేజ్ ఈస్ క్రియేటెడ్ ఎస్ టీ టీ బిది సర్వర్ ఇన్స్టలేషన్ వాస్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ it did uh, start the instance and uh, it is you know now broadcasting the uh, web page index.html so what you need to do select it and then you know try to hit uh, the public dns so i have opened them both so this is coming from instance 2 and uh, this is coming from instance 1 so everything is you know looking fine what is the next thing uh, we'll have to go ahead and you know create uh, an elb so let's let's do it now so creation of load balancer uh, you need to you know scroll all the way down to load balancing click on load balancer let's click on create load balancer button and uh, let's stick with a uh, classic load balancer and let's call it as uh, my elb i'm going to leave all these uh, settings as it is let's assign this uh, elb to our uh, security group so route 53 lab that was our uh, security group i'm going to click on next let's configure the health check you don't need to do anything um let it be you know uh, http we have index.html created in uh, both the ec2 instances so let, let's leave it as it is and uh, response time out uh, let's keep it as 5 maybe we can leave as it is and uh, let's click on add uh, both the ec2 instances to this elb let's click on next and uh, let's add a tag and elb let's click on uh, create so you can see that uh, successfully created the elb and instances uh, they are you know out of service and uh, let's give it uh, you know couple of seconds until elb you know figures out okay these are active and uh, index.html file is you know available let's try to hit the elb and uh, this is my elb address yeah there we go so it's now connecting or it's now routing all the traffic to instance one uh, when i you know do a refresh it's it's going to you know instance two note that there is no change in the elb url it says the same but um, you know traffic is you know routed evenly across my ec2 instances so index.html our website or web page it's available in uh, both ec2 instances instance 1 and instance 2 we made only one uh, you know uh, difference i mean only one change in index.html uh, we have added this instance 1 and instance 2 to the uh, index.html so that we can easily identify to which uh, uh, you know uh, ec2 instance the traffic is being routed as you can see uh, this is the elb and uh, you know the moment you refresh it both the is uh, two instances are coming up and uh, you know serving the traffic so there we go we have successfully implemented this uh, you know um, architecture uh, we have created a route 53 already and uh, you know this section starting with elb and uh, two is two instances holding index.html page we did you know test it out now the next thing uh, i want you to do is this uh, let's implement uh, you know same setup one elb one ec2 instance which is in mumbai region so let's implement this setup and um, you know just for your information i've created a uh, ec2 instances two ec2 instances in north virginia region so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to switch it to you know asia pacific mumbai region so that i can implement that you know one ec2 uh, instance and uh, one elb architecture so here we are let's quickly launch an instance the same drill guys uh, don't even worry um, you will have to you know basically follow the same setup uh, i'm going to stick with mi amazon mi free tire let's uh, you know um, let's add a you know bootstrap script and uh, let's make a slight modification just to identify this is from mumbai instance so i'm going to say mumbai instance let's add stories uh, i'm going to leave it uh, 
uh, as default I mean 8 GB default storage let's create a tag let's call it as Mumbai instance let's click on uh, security group let's maybe you can you know create a new one on let's say route 53 Mumbai security group just to reduce the time I'm gonna stick with all traffic and I'm gonna review and launch I'll uh, you know select one of my existing uh, key pair I'm gonna launch the instance let's go back and see the status so it's trying to you know launch it and uh, the second piece it was uh, to create the ELB so let's go ahead and do it uh, let it let it complete the HTTPD and uh, creation of that uh, index.html file so load balancer uh, click on uh, this and then uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a classic load balancer let's call it as uh, Mumbai ELB I'm gonna leave all these as it is okay so and then let's select the same uh, security group it was a uh, route 53 Mumbai SG I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna configure the health check I don't have to change anything index.html that's the same uh, you know HTML file with which we are going to run the show I'm gonna click on next and uh, you will have to add the same EC2 instances I mean in, in our case it's gonna be a single instance I'm gonna add it let's add a tag Mumbai ELB the review and create click on create so that it will be created we'll have to give it you know couple of seconds uh, just to you know uh, finish the health check so in the meantime let's go back to the EC2 dashboard and uh, we can see that uh, this instance is running let's hit uh, its IP address and uh, this is looking fine uh, this is coming from Mumbai instance so EC2 instance it is uh, working fine uh, all we need to do is uh, verify the ELB setup let's quickly go back and uh, let's see whether the health check is done no it's, it's gonna take you know a couple of seconds more so, so that's it guys I mean uh, we have implemented uh, these two architectures we have created an ELB we have created two EC2 instances and uh, on both of them we we ran some you know boot script which has uh, created a uh, index.html file and uh, to distinguish uh, these two instances we have made you know slight tweaks in both of the HTML files one which will say you know instance one and other one will say instance two so let me quickly open it up and uh, show that to you so this is coming from our uh, you know instance one and this is coming from instance two both these EC2 instances and ELB is located in North Virginia region and then we went ahead and uh, you know created this part wherein we have an ELB one single instance which is hosted in Mumbai uh, region and uh, same is the result uh, we were able to see this and uh, note note this down uh, you know the only difference is uh, on the index.html file so we have created an ELB as well and next video we will uh, try to implement um, you know route 53 along with different routing policies so in the theoretical session we have already seen uh, different types of uh, uh, routing policies available that are uh, you know supported by AWS so we will do a video session covering all these five different routing policies working closely with uh, route 53 thanks a lot for watching the video guys i'll see you in the next one